How's everybody doing? Today's video is going to be basically a reaction video. It's kind of my first attempt at doing something like this, but this video is going to be about my favorite guitar performance that I've ever seen. And this performance is the song Soothsayer by Buckethead performed at the Mishawaka Amphitheater in 2006. So this is one of my favorite concerts of his that I've heard. Uh, the playing was just really, really on point, and almost every song he does here is one of my favorite versions of that song, but this version of Soothsayer that he does is my favorite guitar performance that I've ever heard from anybody of any song. So let me show you why at this point. So we get the intro with sort of a pushed guitar tone. This is back when Buckethead was using his Mesa triple rectifier rig with his one of his original Gibson guitars. It was not a signature model, it was pre-signature model. So my belief is that this guitar was made in the custom shop for him when he joined Guns N' Roses, and it is the best sounding guitar that I've ever heard tonally. So just in this intro right here, the guitar tone, even though it's just a pushed sound, it's not real high gain yet, is really, really satisfying. So then, of course, we go into the high gain section, and he does a little lick here. He does a lot of licks during any performance of this song, just to keep it fresh. It's kind of like a fill, uh, and they're typically improvised. I believe at this point in time, Buckethead was using a Snarling Dogs wah pedal, and it sounds really, really nice. I mean, this is the nicest sounding guitar setup that I've ever heard. You got the live drums, so there's a lot more feel to it. You got the live bass, um, but the guitar tone here is just ridiculously good already. And this place seems like it's outdoors, so you're getting basically a dry guitar tone off of his amp, and you can hear sort of this really wide sound, like a really, really wide, very, very faint sort of natural reverb to the video, barely, because it's principally just hitting, you know, the audio pretty direct, but it sounds really, really nice. Like the amp is super loud, basically. Kind of hear right there how the guitar has so much resonance that it's wanting to almost like accelerate its resonance on its own 
you get like that sort of little bit of feedback there that he got. At the end of this line. Right there. Right there instead of doing a lick he just basically hit the whammy pedal and that right there right there is the tone that I'm talking about that first of all that was a crazy shred run but that's just a warm up for the rest of this song. And then the guitar tone, when he lands on that big bend right there, even though it's pretty high, it is like the most wailing, thick, just imposing tone. It's awesome. And on the tail of that, note that he bends up to you can get a sense of that sort of natural echo that's in that outdoor space but it's really kind of hard to notice otherwise great groove going on by the drummer with that part and that wah on those sort of those double picked notes there is just really really nice just a very really really nice sound going on there <laughs> That was nuts. 
That was an insane amount of energy spent through all of those sections. He does some of his typical three notes per string shredding there, and then he goes up to the top, and then he sort of like hits the top of the pattern, and then he just sort of repeats it like he's hammering it a few times. The drum fills there, a lot of energy. I mean, it's just a really, really nice, really, really tight performance by everybody there. And that was an insane run that he just did. That tone is just the greatest tone I've ever heard from guitar. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything spectacular that he's playing, just doing these big bends and sort of melodies, but it's such a good sound that he's getting. His guitar has so much resonance and so much energy available on those low notes, like where he just drops to like the lower two strings and he's only down to about the third fret or so right there. There's so much energy in that guitar that the lower notes have just as much energy as like what would be a screaming high note. And that's also partly due to him using a Mesa amp where they carry a lot, a lot of energy on the low notes but this little bend sort of turn around right here that he does. Okay, that, that shred run right there is something I've never seen anybody else be able to do. He's basically doing his normal stuff, and then he, at a certain point, he's basically um, hitting the top of the pattern, and then he just moves it up a position and moves it up a position, and he just goes down a couple strings, moves it up, goes down a couple strings, up a position, down a couple strings, up a position, down a couple strings, and it's it has this almost like laser shooting effect but there's no real weird effect on it it's just by how fast he is restarting a position here right here there 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 i've never seen anybody else
And then that tone on the bend is just wildly powerful. winds it down perfectly so that is my favorite guitar performance that I've ever seen that's incredibly good he gets into a zone there where technically it's very impressive with the shredding he does things that are expending a lot of excess energy that not even Buckethead does normally like that part where he's he's basically topping out those patterns, then he just jumps to the next pattern and jumps to the next pattern. Really, really cool. I've really not seen him do that much at all otherwise, um, especially not to that level. The guitar tone there is insanely good. The tone of his amp is insanely good. The outdoors, like you can hear a little bit of the echo of the natural reverb of the place. You can hear the crowd a little bit. The drums are in the zone, the guitar and bass are in the zone. It's just, and this concert, when I first saw this, when I was young, was the basis of what I put in my head as the perfect guitar tone. And so everything that I've sort of strived towards is not exactly to mimic this tone, but to be able to ballpark it very close because you can't really get a tone like that without using the gear that he's using. A lot of it's in his playing and how he's able to sustain these big bends. And uh, I mean, even using such an odd wah pedal, it's just, it really made an impression on me, this performance. So hopefully you guys watching it can see why or see that it is a good performance. Um, and let me know if you want to see more similar videos like this. Um, I've never really done one in this style before, but let me know if you liked it. If, you know, write a comment, give me some feedback. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe. Turn on notifications, and I will see you guys next time.